Hello friends, welcome to the series video on the mathematics behind the most mathematical flag. So today we are going to discuss the aspect ratio of the flag of Nepal. So meaning aspect ratio. So let's assume it to be the width and this to be the height. So the ratio of the height to its width is known as the aspect ratio. And the flag of Nepal is one of the rarest in the world that has got the aspect ratio in irrational number or mathematically this is the number of the aspect ratio which is approximately equal to 1.219 so today we are going to find out uh, how this aspect ratio was calculated let's see the inner border of this flag we know that it has got the inner border that is uh, colored in the red and it has got the outer border in blue so without considering the outer border the aspect ratio is very easy to calculate if we consider this length as a according to the steps involved in construction of the flag then we can easily get the aspect ratio as the ratio of height to width which is 4a by 3 divided by a that is 1.333 the designer of the flag of Nepal had chosen the ratio 4 by 3 because it symbolizes eternity in Nepalese culture but when the border was added the aspect ratio is found to be approximately equal to 1.219 which is not a rational number so let's look at the mathematics behind it so before proceeding I recommend you to look my previous video on finding the width of this blue border and the various calculations and today we are going to use the calculation that I have already made in the previous video and we are going to use the values over here. So in this map from previous video we are going to use FZ this length equals AB equals A the length of CF that is equal to A times 4 by 3 minus 1 by square root of 2 then using this triangle that is CFZ as a right angle triangle so we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find CZ equal to CF square plus FZ square square root so we can get this result for this length CZ and also TN which is the width of this border which is given by this value which we have already calculated in the previous video then let's assume this angle to be angle Z and this angle to be angle C now in this right angle triangle what we can see is the value of sine Z that is the perpendicular CF by the hypotenuse CZ so from these relations we can find this value similarly for tan g which is perpendicular by the base we can find this value similarly cos z and cot z can be calculated like this another important thing you need to know here is to find out this horizontal distance let's zoom a little bit so it has got one corner like this and to find this horizontal angle let's see this length is the width that is Tn and since this is a right angle triangle this is angle Z then this will also be angle Z being corresponding angles and this length will be Tn divided by sine Z in this right angle triangle we can draw a right angle triangle like this and this angle will also be equal to angle Z being corresponding angles then this length can be found out in this right angle triangle by using this relation that is Tn which is this length divided by tan Z so these two relations are extremely important to find out the horizontal distance from here to here so the total horizontal distance is given by let's see in the figure this Tn is the distance from here to here which is the width of this border and plus a 
since we have assumed the length f z as a so this will be a and plus this distance is tn by sin z and this distance is tn by tan z so the total overall horizontal distance will be given by this relation and be clear about one point is that if we draw a straight line over here actually these two corners do not toss each other because as you see this angle is smaller than this angle so this corner is somewhat protruded outwards so finding total horizontal distance we do not need to consider the bottom horizontal distance so since this is the longest horizontal distance that we need to take and for vertical distance also the similar thing happens the vertical distance we need to find the distance from here to here this will be the width which is tn and 4a by and the distance 4a by 3 is the distance from here to here and similarly by the same method that we used to find these corner distances we are going to use the same idea to find the overall distance from here to here and here to here by adding tn by sin c plus tn by tan c since the angle is c so under further simplification what can we get is sin c can be replaced by cos z because in this right angle triangle angle c is equal to 90 minus angle z so sin 90 minus z will be cos z and tan 90 minus z will be cot z so we derive the total horizontal distance and total vertical distance and let's put the values for horizontal distance we put the values like this a goes to this side let's take t n common and we put the value of sine z from here and tan z from here then we will get these values and in simplification we will get this result similarly for total vertical distance we use this formula then uh, 4a by 3 comes here we take tn as common and we put the values of cos z and cot z and get the result as this to be simplified in this form to get this result now let's go to the formula for as aspect ratio like we got the horizontal length as this and vertical length as this value then aspect ratio equals to vertical length by horizontal length so we divide this number by this number then we get this result which will be approximately equal to 1.219 or if you want the aspect ratio in terms of horizontal length is to vertical length then the ratio is 0.82 so what does it means is that if if the width of this map was 1 then the height will be equal to around 1.219 so this is all about the aspect ratio so in the next video we will learn how to find the area of the flag and it's quite interesting that the area of this flag has got some interesting properties till then thanks for watching